Yo, what is going on guys? Hopefully you're doing well today. In this one, I'm finally bringing you the long-awaited overnight flipping guide updated for real-time prices. Now, this is the best way to make money by flipping in my opinion because it is the lowest time investment for the largest return. Be sure to stick around for this video guys because it's going to be jam-packed with amazing information to help you make some bank on the grand exchange. I'm over at the exchange with all the cash in my hand and we're going to do a mix of high volume stuff and maybe some lower volume stuff so that way we can encompass all cash stacks for this video. There are two parts when it comes to listing your overnight flips. The first part is finding the right items to flip overnight and the second part is actually analyzing the item on GE Tracker to know what price to list at. If you are working with less than 500 mil, I recommend strictly sticking to high volume items for your overnights, but if you do have more than 500 mil, I recommend doing some low volume and some high volume on your overnight sessions. We're going to list our high volume stuff first, so I'm going to hop over to GE Tracker and walk through how I find out what price to list at. The first high volume item we're going to list overnight is the Green Dragon Leather. This is one of my favorite high volume items to flip overnight because it is so consistent. Now, two graphs that you need to keep in mind when you're flipping overnight are the weekly graph and the day graph. The weekly graph is going to show you the trend of the item, so in this example, we can see the item is going up a lot in price, and even when it pulled back, it started to recover again in price, so clearly things are looking up for the green dragon leather. And then the daily view is going to tell you what is kind of trading intraday, and you can actually see the lows that happen throughout the day and where you can potentially buy in. So we can see here that the past 24 hours, we have seen lows of 1,521, so I'll probably list between 1,520 and 1,000. 530 because we can see in the past like six hours or so that it did bounce at 1540 so i'm actually going to play it where i expect it's going to come lower again and we'll actually fill that quantity but using the day information we can actually find out where we need to list overnight by looking at the daily low prices if you are serious about overnight flipping and investing in old school runescape i highly recommend you get ge tracker premium we're actually partnered with ge tracker so if you use my link in the description below i get a little bit of a kickback when you sign up so i would appreciate that if you are serious about getting it but the reason i think ge tracker premium is so important is because it has these indicators here so you can see that you can use uh, indicators like this simple moving average which is very important when you're looking at specific trends and you want to see where an item on average is priced at so you can clearly see that the line is pretty consistent here right in between the buy and sell which we do expect and it's just very helpful to get that information to see when uh you have some outlying prices for example right here where we have 1540 uh where they were buying you can see that's kind of an outlier here uh compared to where the average is so a great buy opportunity uh, that was pointed out by enabling this simple moving average Next up, we have the Black Dragon Leather. This flips very similarly to the Green Dragon Leather, but fluctuates in price a bit more, so there is actually opportunity to make more money with the Black Dragon Leather because of the larger fluctuations, but it's a little bit less consistent. Anyway, we're going to get into it here. We can see on the week that the price on the Black Dragon Leather has been coming down, and on the day graph, we're seeing these really large uh, dump prices, right? We're seeing it come down to 3150 about, uh, and that's actually happened twice, where it's come that far down and then completely bounced so i'm actually predicting that's going to happen again if not once probably multiple times so we should be able to cash in on a cheap price i'm actually going to list a little bit lower 3140 i think because i do expect it to come further down over the next day or so uh just considering the weekly graph here so i think this is a good flip for us i'm actually looking very confident about this one or feeling very confident uh just because of these big outliers that's going to make a lot of potential uh, for, to make some money. Another high volume item I love to flip overnight is the Amalus Crystal. Now, the Amalus Crystal has been looking pretty good here. Uh, we see it coming down on the weekly graph, kind of sideways actually. We started off with an upward trend, and as the week ended, we came down in price here. And currently, we're seeing it bounce around the 990 GP mark. But you can see on the daily graph that we're actually seeing prices a lot lower than that. 967, uh, this thing has dipped to in the past 24 hours. So I do expect a similar movement to happen again. But I want to make sure we buy a lot of these because I do think it's a good flip. So I think I'm going to list it around 970 to 980 to make sure we're actually getting a solid quantity of these overnight. 
keep in mind that the farther out you list from that average price, the less likely you are to actually fill a full quantity of your offer. Remember that when you're flipping overnight, you're actually going to be offline for like that eight to 12 hour mark. So you can actually fill like two to three limits of your item overnight and make a lot of money that way. But if you list too low, you might not actually fill that entire offer and you might miss out on some GP. Next up is the Magic Seeds. Now, these are not necessarily high volume, but they are a really good overnight flip because the quantity traded is a little bit less uh, than some of that really high volume stuff, so you see massive fluctuations like this. On the daily graph, we're seeing the Magic Seeds dip all the way down to like 127k consistently. We're seeing tons of dips and then uh, recoveries after that going all the way back up to like 130k. So there's a lot of inconsistency on those Magic Seeds right now. And I do want to take advantage of that because I think we can make some good money. On the weekly, we're looking a little bit undecided as well. Again, large dips here that we can pick up on. Uh, and besides that, we've been slowly downtrending on the week. So I think this is going to be a really good one. We might be able to make a killing on this if we get the listing right i'm hoping we're going to get another dip down to 127k because i will be listing around that price point the last medium to high volume item we're going to do is the cactus spine now this is one of my favorite overnight flips i know i say that about a lot of items but this one for real i really like flipping this overnight it's very consistent and the margins are huge most of the time so you can see right now the margin is probably like what what is that 70 gp really good anyway this thing on the daily 24-hour graph has been dipping to like 1530 uh, multiple times and then as of recently it's actually been holding like 1545 to 1550 so it looks like uh, it actually might start uptrending here but i do expect it will probably dip down to 1530 within the next 24 hours if we look at the weekly graph we saw a lot of consistency on the cactus spines and then all of a sudden a little bit of a price run as of late to actually i don't know i guess maybe uptrend but i'm gonna list around 1530 see if we can fill a few cactus spines overnight and see if we can make some bank now let's make some room for some of the lower volume stuff. The first one we're going to list is the Blade of Saildor. Now the Blade of Saildor is not one of my favorites, but I did notice that the graph on it is looking really good. You can see on the month that it has been uptrending for the past month, and on the weekly view it's been very consistent, trading sideways between like 180 and 167 mil. So that looks very consistent for me, and I think there's a lot of opportunity there. On the 24 hour view as well, we're seeing it go down to 167 mil and uh, getting to highs of like 170 mil. So we might be able to make 2.5 mil per sale door and I think we might be able to execute on that. So I'll probably list around 167.5 mil uh, to try to capitalize on some of those low prices again and just hope we get a few more dips like that and we can make some bank off it if so. When I'm looking for high margin, low volume flips, I am looking for items that have been consistently performing between a set margin. I'm not looking for those massive fluctuations where you can make bank, because while you can make bank, you can also get crushed and lose a ton of money if you mess it up. So I'm looking for items that have been trading very consistently and very straight. So the sale door is a great example of this, and that's why I'd like to flip it. The next high margin item we're gonna list is the Volatile Orb. The Volatile Orb is looking really funky right now. Last week, it came down a lot in price, then it bounced up, and then it came back down in price again, and is actually stuck around this 154 million GP mark. On the daily view, though, we see that it is dipping very low as well, and we're catching some cheap ones here around 153.5 mil, and I'd like to catch a few more of those. I think that's probably going to happen again, so I think this one's pretty straightforward. We'll list around 153.5, see if we can pick some up. And the last item we're going to list is the Scythe of Viter. I know you guys want me to do one of those big popular items, so we're going to go ahead and try to flip one of these. I like how the graph looks as well. The past week, it's actually been trading pretty consistently, a little bit of uptrending here towards the end of the week, but uh, it did come down a lot in price with some of the update hype. But on the daily view, it's looking really good, starting to uptrend again, but I believe this thing's going to come back down to like 464 mil, and I think we can pick one up for maybe around 460. 64.5 mil overnight and we'll try to sell it back in the morning for a potential of a 4 mil gain we'll have to see if it works out hey if you are finding value from this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more money making and flipping tips anyway back to the video 
now that we've done all the analysis on the items, we're going to go ahead and list everything on the exchange. If you guys have any questions about how I did the analysis on GE Tracker, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. I'll answer all the questions that you guys have on this video. We've got all of our overnight items listed and we also threw the magic logs on there because we had a little bit of extra cash so we put those in for their daily low anyway we've got all of our items listed and as you can see here i have a lot of high volume stuff and i have a lot of low volume stuff if you have a large cash stack this is how i recommend flipping overnight because it's a very risk adverse strategy first of all if your low volume items don't fill up on your offers your high volume items are more likely to so you'll still make money overnight regardless and if your low volume items hit, then you're going to benefit because those are going to be the ones that make you a ton of money. Anyway, remember that overnight flipping is consistency is the number one importance. Make sure you're being consistent on your overnight flips and making money every single night. That's truly how you're going to make bank. And I also recommend flipping the same items overnight that you do uh, basically every single day because you'll get to know the pattern of the item a little bit more and the potential of the fluctuations on the item. Anyway, let's log off for the night and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Here we are the next day, guys, and unfortunately, we can't get these volatile orbs to sell. All of our other offers did not buy, so we actually had a pretty low-key overnight session. That being said, like I was mentioning in the previous clips, all of our high-volume stuff hit, which I'm super pumped about. Well, not all of it, but most of it, and we actually ended up making 2.94 million GP on three high-volume items. Guys, high volume flipping is insane, especially overnight, and if we honestly hit these volatile orbs, that would have been about an 8 mil night. Now, we are actually in the red a little bit on these volatile orbs right now, but we're going to hold on to them for a little bit and see what happens. I just wanted to show this clip because it not only shows that high volume items are a very powerful flip, it also shows that sometimes your flipping, especially on an overnight time frame, does not go in your way, and there are different situations you can use to handle how to get out of that situation. In this example alone, I'm probably going to bag hold these volatile orbs for a little bit, although if they reach about 150 mil, I will likely dump them for the loss, and we will actually take some pretty significant losses on that. But that is part of the game. Overnight flipping is not guaranteed profits, but it is a relatively consistent way to make money, and if you do it the safe way with high volume, you're honestly still going to make a killing. Look at that guys, we waited 48 hours and we were able to sell the volatile orbs, that is a 5.1 mil profit on an overnight. So I went ahead and I did some quick math. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. To figure out how much profit we made overnight. And it turns out we actually made 7.6 mil across all of our items, including the volatile orbs, which took a little bit longer to sell. Anyway, that wraps it up for the overnight flipping guide. Trust me, we'll have more overnight content here in the future. I just wanted to get a guide out on how I analyze items and how I actually list my overnights, even though a lot of them didn't succeed. And that's honestly okay. You cannot expect to make every overnight flip to either fill the offer or succeed on them it is definitely a risky thing anyway guys thank you so much for watching this one if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you all in the next video